fam, for him to be stalling, not even marry you, he doesn't like you like this. Hey guys, hey mamas, welcome again to my channel. It's your favorite Abuja mommy YouTuber, Deca Diary of an Abuja Mom. So if you're new to my channel, um, this is the best time for you to click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell button to also get you notified so whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to get it. So guys, I'm super super excited because yeah, like drum rolls please. I must add my dish dish kind, you know. Uh, we are starting a new series slash segment on my channel. So it's actually going to be called Unwind with Decker. Cheers. So in this series, it's going to be like a laid back thing where I'm going to be sharing stories about um, women. Some of them I see on the internet, some of them for us to learn from basically. Because as a mom, as a woman, you know, as a married woman, sometimes you go through things and you need somebody to advise you without judging you right and i feel a lot of us in nigeria where so we like to cover up which is one of the biggest problems we have me inclusive we like to cover we like to want to show um shows that we were we're perfect we're okay not necessarily perfect but we're okay and i feel i don't blame us because this is what we've been taught that you should ah, hide them keep them you know no talk about them no no, mm -mm, you know, but I like that in this our generation people are coming out to say things and sometimes when you read some of the stories women send out You know that um, I'm not alone and then you see people that actually will advise you and you'll be able to do you you'll be able to Plan better guys personally. I'm the sharp sharp mode one like mode one. No, 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 no. I don't have time to think and um, process things before I act which is really bad because you have to think process then act that's how i believe think process then act me i used to i used to act first then think then process now i'm not be regretting so um i'm going to be reading this story which i saw on one of the mommy pages i follow on instagram lovely page i read these stories and sometimes i cry sometimes i laugh sometimes i'm like really like i've learned a lot of things where we are quick to say ah you're very stupid no in as much as you feel like a person is very stupid, you that's the way you would um, come about it. That person not feel stupid, you know. So um, I'm going to be reading this story from her page, which someone shared anonymously, and I would like to get your opinion because I feel some of us are going through the same thing. I met my baby daddy in 2017, and I fell in love with him instantly. But I kept my calm. Then he approached me and claimed to love me, so I accepted him with all my being <laughs> women after some months into the relationship i got pregnant for him though i really wanted to have the baby but i was so scared because the relationship was still very young and i don't know any of his family members yet so we agreed to terminate it some people would say i'm reading really fast let me know if i read really fast so that i maybe in the next video i'm going to read slower i'm going to try to read a bit slower so you guys can get every word that i'm saying then i started pressuring him to introduce me to his parents but he was stalling i don't know why and i didn't want to push it why were you pressuring him okay because you were pregnant no you weren't pregnant at this time what were you not pressuring him to meet his parents like i feel see there's some mistake women make i'm going to be answering like you know there's some mistake we women make where if a man really wants you guys you won't be the one that will be you won't even tell him anything the moment you are you're with somebody and you're the one having to pressure the person into marrying you that marriage will not end well it's always going to be you. If people have a little quarrel, it's going to enter you. So now you force him to marry him. You know, there's so many things that comes with that kind of thing. If you know you want to get married and you're dating somebody that is not talking about marriage, you talk to him once, you talk to him twice, he's still doing like this. He's not talking with, see, Japa, like, Tika race, find your levels. Because 
it's not do or die affair. There are so many men that want to get married. It's just that the, the way women feel, uh, nobody's married me. That's what some men also say. Ah, I'm looking for wife. It's hard to find women these days. Good wives these days and all that and all that. Even though I don't know what they're actually looking for, because maybe they're looking for um um someone that is um, Nicki Minaj with small uh, trauma Jesus inside the person. I don't know. Fast forward to eight months after we started dating, I got pregnant for him again. And I couldn't just bring myself to have an abortion the second time because I was so scared. I decided to tell him, but I was ready to take responsibility, even if he doesn't want to. Hmm. Okay. True to God, though. Let me not lie. I like this part. So, whenever you're watching this segment or this series, Go and get your tea, go and get your wine, go and get your champagne, your shepe, your sapele water, your dry gin, whatever you like. Because guys, like we're going to be chilling and having fun and relaxing. I say I'm, I've relaxed, I'm, I've, I've, I've relaxed where we now. I also was saying, I like the part where she said, even if he wasn't going to marry her, I was ready to take the responsibility of having a child alone. Uh, because I hate when ladies use pregnancy to hold men. It's very wrong. Like I said, your marriage is not going to be a happy, a happy, and a happy marriage. It's not going to be a happy marriage. It's going to be quarrelsome. It's going to be full of regrets. Because most people that have had this issue of pregnancy making a man marry them, they've always had issues. Like. Let's be truthful. They've always, always had issues. So um, I'm happy for that statement. So let's continue. Um, he was happy when I told him and I was so relieved. Um, he promised to go inform his mother so we can meet officially. Then my nightmare began. I'll be started. Hmm. I had informed my people that we already started preparing a wedding. Then I received a call from his mom telling me her son is not ready for marriage. <laughs> this is where Omo, I know. Since you, she said, I'm surprised. Since she said she was ready to take responsibility, like she can take responsibility for the baby, she doesn't really need him. If he, does, if he says, I don't want, she'll just rush with herself and carry her baby and go, right? The moment for me, you. Oh, the moment the mom is calling and saying the son is not ready for marriage, you for just find your level. So, because for me, I feel like if your husband's family doesn't like you, then um, don't bother. Like if they black, see, there's something like they're just okay. They're just they're not like they are all over you or they're crazy about you, but they're just cool with you. That's a difference. The difference when when they see you, you can tell that they don't like you. Don't be eyeing you. Don't be warning you. As in this. See, fly out. Hey, God. If you don't fly out, I go so far. Fly out. I always say, hold your ear. Fly out, too. Fly out, too. <laughs> hey, okay. Let's continue. All our plan went down the drain. After a lot of begging. <sighs> no, this one, I cannot drink for this one. What's it happen? After a lot of begging and dialogue, she agreed to come see my family with few of their family members hmm um, uh, nothing for you okay i was already seven months gone then we had a parlor intro i gave birth to my baby girl with cs it wasn't easy at all yeah cs is not easy like no just having a baby is not easy it's not about cs or um vagina beds just having a baby is not easy she claimed she was too busy to stay with me then my mom stayed with me for two months like for me oh it's not about this one is not about like hating your mother-in-law or liking your mother-in-law i feel like omugo is supposed to be done by your mom except number one your mom is not around like your mom is cannot come like maybe she's late or she's sick or she cannot just come that's when i feel like your mother-in-law should come so um i believe let me know in the comment section i believe um your mother-in-law not coming shouldn't be a problem it shouldn't be a, a deal breaker like if my mother-in-law will come for my woman it will make me hate her or love her less you know i don't care like 
I don't even think about it that way because I've always thought in my head that my mother is supposed to come from my Omogwa. During my pregnancy, my baby daddy promised me we would go to the registry after I deliver. My baby is two years now and he keeps postponing. Then anytime we have a little argument, he will always argue, he will always tell me he didn't marry me. That it's, 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 is it a crime to impregnate someone? I said it, like I said it from the beginning. The moment you're the one pressuring him to get married to you, whether you're pregnant or not, it doesn't always end well because fam, for him to be stunning, not even marry you, he doesn't like you like that. That's what I believe. He doesn't see you in his future like that. So he will be regretting. He might even hate you like you use pregnancy to hold him down you know so my advice for women when they come and tell me this kind of thing is um that you're pregnant for somebody if you want to keep it it's fine yeah, um, but you mustn't marry the person you can be pregnant for somebody and live your life and you can get married to someone else. i know people will say ah we're in africa people don't it's not easy to get married like that <laughs> mm, that's one of our biggest problems that's why women still do this kind of rubbish because of that same talk that statement hurts me deeply anytime he says it even till now i'm not in good terms with his mom because the more i try to move closer to her the more she shuts me out then i stayed on my lane she doesn't even ask her after me or my baby um which is really fine i feel like if you in general i feel like if you try 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 and it's not working respect yourself and stay on your name because after a while it becomes it will not be like say this one you don't go rest like what's doing you you know that's what i believe um okay i'm confused right now i don't know what to do should i stay in the marriage or leave how are you in any marriage fam like this is the problem with us like from what you just said you guys are not married you're just living together you're just a baby mama living with your baby daddy which he doesn't even like obviously because it's like you're you're spoiling things for him you're spoiling the show for him from what you, now you talk every way you talk now you call it say you're in marriage how are you married you're not in marriage you have to pack your load and fly out of that house from wherever you are you cannot be discussing whether you really want to be together but staying in that house and thinking you're married now nah, fam you're not yeah. maybe you stay like two years now from now he's not gonna bring one girl and come and tell you man i don't marry the girl he will go and marry somebody and tell you i'm married now nah. you will not be crying ah he left me he's my husband he's not your husband and he's already telling he's not telling you straight like leave but he's telling you leave so leave if you're in this kind of situation please leave i know it's not going to be easy i'm not saying it's easy see fam it's not i'm married sometimes we know how to make mouths we know how to talk like oh my, like i'm going to leave but finally the only thing you can do is leave if not now yourself it in too you're going to regret he's going to treat you badly for the rest of your life he's going to use your youth and play around when you don't tire come old like he now sees that oh my, nothing again no no girl they look me again no girls no they look my side no money again he will not remember you then you will not go to church and start saying hey my husband for the past 30 years he was going up and down now god has arrested him god did not arrest him he's his pocket that arrested him so if i was advised this lady i would say pack your load and go you know and go and figure out your life with your baby you you would meet someone in future or whenever you're ready if you want to and go and get a job or go and do whatever maybe handwork learn handwork or whatever that would help you you know i want to know what you would advise her in the comment section and i hope you guys actually enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button to get you notified so whenever the baby la hot like me post a new video you'll be the first to get it and i love you guys so much for watching until my next video Salute!